headed to Disney. It's a walk up the street. Um, actually, a couple lights down. <laughs> um, shouldn't be far, shouldn't take long. I'm trying to see if anybody is already there. Where can I meet them up at? They were like, meet them in Candyland. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I was making videos. And I kind of woke up late. I was supposed to wake up. But normally I was waking up at... Four, five in the morning. Because I'm still on my schedule, like, on the east side. Like, I'm waking up at four here. But over there, it's seven o'clock in the morning. You know? So, that's normally when I wake up over there. Sometimes I wake up at 6 or 5, but normally I wake up at 7. And then, so I'm still used to that schedule. And then I go to sleep early. Well, it seems early here, but it's late over there. Um, I go to sleep 10 here. So, over there it's like 1 in the morning. And I'm just not, I don't know, I'm just not used to it. <laughs> so... <laughs> but definitely excited for this Disney day. I do think I realized there are a few things that I don't like already about the um, current state that I'm at because I'm used to like sleeping in these Hampton Inns and getting complimentary breakfast. So that's something that's a little different for me because like right across the street you got a Hampton Inn and the breakfast is complimentary. So. That's fine. We'll see about like what I can do about that. Probably can't do nothing about that here. <laughs> what I'm saying, like, about food-wise, like what I what I would do. Mm, it's very different. I don't know how it's being coochie out here. I probably should have woke up early, so when I walk down now, I won't be so damn hot. Damn. I feel like that man that got them damn flies flying in his goddamn head. And went in his mouth, he was like, I'm tired of this country act country. <laughs> Just seeing what I could do about breakfast. <laughs> and dinner. <laughs> Look at convenience. Look at convenience. Thank God. So let's do a quick story time. So I went to the bathroom and I left my camera sitting down on a bench and uh, some kids picked it up. And when they picked it up, I noticed that they picked it up. So I started following them and I was just waiting for them to like, turn around and give me my camera back. Like they see me sitting there and they seen that I walked away for a second and they quickly picked it up and they quickly exit out of the, the park. So I'm just watching and I'm walking behind them and stuff like that and they're chatting and all that stuff. And then finally the dad's like, oh, um, like he's walking with them too. So he's like, oh, did, did you leave your, your camera behind? And then I'm like, yeah. And then he goes, oh, I was about to take it to Lost and Found, but you exit out of the park to take it to Lost and Found. Lost and Found is in the park. So <laughs> that was something that was a bit like uneasy. It was a little uncomfortable, but I'm learning more and more about being comfortable with being uncomfortable. But Besides that, I just took a picture for like the Disneyland, the Disneyland photo that they take every year at Disneyland, and it's at the um, the Adventure Park. That was there was a lot of people that showed up. I didn't know, maybe I just didn't meet all of them, but there was a lot of people that came. It's pretty cool. Anyways, um, didn't get back to the park. I was a little tired. That's the reason why I kind of left my camera and didn't realize it so I'm just gonna put it in my bag and we'll leave it at that but I'm right here
who I want to go on that. That's what I want to go on. Yep. I just wanted to do this for my best friend.